Uh, hi, everyone. So my name is Walter Krawick. I'm an assistant professor of computer science and engineering here at University of Connecticut. I'm just going to go very quickly through some of the research that we do in my group. If you're interested, you can contact me by email or check out my website, and my contact information is there, too. So I do work in quantum cryptography primarily, and that's involving quantum bits. So classical bits we know can be zeros and ones. You can read a classical bit at any time. You can copy classical bits. Quantum bits, or qubits, are very different. So they can be zeros and ones, or they can be in a so-called superposition of both zero and one. So there's different ways to prepare quantum information. Reading a quantum bit, reading a qubit, which is called measuring it, potentially destroys it and produces random outputs. So unless you look at it at just the right angle, you're going to destroy information, and you're not going to get the right result. And finally, you can't copy qubits. So if I send someone quantum bits, you know, if an attacker in the middle can't make copies of that data to attack later, but which you can do very easily with classical data. So just to sort of give you a high-level overview of what we can do with these quantum bits, let's imagine a quantum bit as sort of a particle sealed inside a box. So I can sort of prepare this quantum state, so it's, it's sort of this particle, and I'm preparing a zero state inside a particular box. And the rule is, okay, if I look at it from one angle, I'm going to get the right result. So I put a zero in the box. If I look at it here, um, I'll see zero all the time, and I'm very happy, right? But if I look at it at the wrong angle, so if I look at it from underneath, I'm going to get a random result, and I'm going to be puzzled by that, right? It could be zero or one. I put a zero in the box, but if I try to look at inside the box uh, from the wrong side, I'm going to get a random result. And furthermore, once you look inside the box, the original thing is destroyed. So this whatever was in the box originally is destroyed, and it becomes what you observe. So you only have one shot to look at this thing, and you have to do it right because you can't look at both sides. Because once you look here or here, the thing is gone. Um, so you can't say, I'm going to look here and here. Uh, that's impossible to, get to, to try to figure out what was in the box. That's rule, sort of rule number one. Rule number two is that I can prepare different types of boxes. So over here, I prepared a one in this brown box. I'm just I'm color coding these, so it's a brownish box. Uh, and if I look on the left, I'll see the right answer. So I put a 1 in here, and I always get the right answer. On the other hand, if I prepare a bluish box, then, OK, if I look underneath, I'll get the right answer. So it's a different angle, right? So different colored boxes mean different angle to look, and you get the right result. On the other hand, you'll be puzzled if you look at it at any other angle. So you can sort of prepare these boxes in a way that only one angle gives you the right result, any other angle looking at the box at any other angle, angle will give you a random result and destroy the data. Finally, if I don't tell you what color box it is, if I don't tell you what angle to look at it, they all look the same. So if I just give you quantum bits, they all just look the same. They all look the same. So you have no idea which way to look. And once you look, it's destroyed, right? So this is how we can sort of send information securely. So just as an example, if Alice wants to send a message to Bob, she can sort of pack her message into these different quantum bits and prepare them in different ways so that if I have to look to the left to get the answer or underneath to get the answer, right? So I'll prepare these randomly, ship them off to Bob, but there's an adversary in the middle who captures them. But the adversary doesn't know the right way to look. So they all look the same to her. So she's going to have to guess, which way do I look? Which way do I look? And each time she looks, she destroys information and possibly gets random results. So she's going to look randomly, maybe destroy some of them. She can't make a copy, so she has to ship these off to Bob now. Bob gets these results, and Alice now tells Bob what way to look. So Bo Alice tells Bob the color of the box. Bob knows which way to look, so I look underneath here, I look to the left here, and I'll get the right answer. Oh, but there's some destroyed data here. This is going to tell Bob and Alice that someone tried to attack the data, right? So you can't do this classically, because if someone attacks, there's nothing you can do. But with quantum, you can play these cool games to actually detect attackers. You can actually determine how much information they can gain based on how many bits were destroyed. Um, that's sort of a very quick high-level overview. So if you're curious, uh, please do reach out to me. I run an informal quant introduction to quantum seminar for undergraduates pretty much every spring. Um, so if you're curious about that and want to hear more, just send me an email or check out my website. Uh, happy to talk more. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.